Well, we promised you some milling. We're going to get at this big log here today. And uh, if uh, you just jumped onto my channel and just found it, I don't just mill. I do a lot of other things, camping, fishing, cut firewood, uh, just following along my life a little bit here off grid. And so, you know, join me or you might enjoy one of my other videos. Jump on there. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up subscribe but today we're gonna get at this nice log and uh, see how many one by eight we can make out of it and I'll show you how I set it up here this logs a wee bit bigger on that end so I want to split the difference I just use this four by four here and I can lift my log up and then I put a I put a 5 8 under this one um, just to just to help a little and then we're going to just set this up and I'm going to show you <clears throat> where I set the blade I want to take just a nice cut so I get about six seven inches shadows and sunshine but so just trying to get a nice uh, a nice little bit there without taking too much slab off and then we'll give it a spin and uh, see how it goes so we try not to waste but I have the mill already warmed up and we're gonna just uh, see if we can walk through it without having a disaster
wean on the edge, but I can put that back on the mill, and when I turn it, I'm gonna have another one like this. I'll put it back on the mill, and I'll turn it into one by six. just trim it a little and make one by eight. Yeah. bit of bark on it that's okay for what I'm doing a couple more really nice so now I got a really nice uh, square edges here so I like to pull it back and do a 180 with it. Make sure you get rid of the sawdust. A lot 
Mug stops down to three quarters. So I get done cutting. I got some other things to do today. Get done cutting. Um, I just clean all the sawdust out that builds up, you know, along the pulleys, and in here it builds up. Uh, they need some bigger holes in here, so I might have to make some adjustments, but um, yeah, I just clean it up, and that way uh, it doesn't dry there. If there's pitch in it, stuff like that, so clean it up a little, and then, uh, you know, you're, you're done for the day, but there's some really nice You're just catching up with me, you know, you see these little furries along the edge. If you push the mill too hard or if the blade starts to get dull, my blade's not dull. I just kind of wanted to see how long it would take me to go through. So I pushed this little mill quite a bit, you know, but I had a brand new blade on it. And, and you could push it right along and like that little fuzz, it's just, you know, because it's kind of tearing a little bit. You don't want to push it too hard or else you start getting... You know warps in your boards stuff like that if your blades getting a little bit dull but um, so there's five six seven eight nine and i gotta put these two back on and just uh take the edge off of them square them up i think it'll be just really nice one by six so out of that one log that's what we got so no well, thanks again for uh subscribing and uh you know all of you that are just catching up there's a uh, little milling i got projects for this lumber uh, i'll be going on this summer so you know subscribe jump in there and uh show the old thumbs up and you'll keep your notification bells on you'll get something going on every uh every few days something different and be gardening starting soon and so just uh kind of following my life along a little bit and that's what my videos are about so uh, for now we're gonna just let you all go enjoy your day and stay safe yeah i just took those two that needed trimmed and make really nice uh one by six perfect one by six there and then this here gives me some more stripping for putting between lumber. So I just take them off and then you know, they're nice and flat. Inch and a half wide by one inch so it's easy to tell you're not off. You know sometimes you make strips if you're not careful. If you get one strip that's a little bit thicker by one blade. When you pile your lumber you're not going to be happy because it's going to teeter totter. It's not going to be quite right so but anyways that's the log thanks for watching and uh say don't forget don't forget to subscribe you'll see more of this kind of stuff